Hello. Uh, hi, Natalie. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, no, tell me your name. Peter. Peter Schultz. Peter Schultz. Uh, and tell me a little bit first about your, before you tell me the story oh, okay. about what happened at the Blue Bomber game, All tell right. me tell me a little bit about your well, I business this, here. I found this three years ago walking through a yard. Uh -huh. and, uh, what do you call this? It's a rickshaw. Okay. From India. It's, a, it's, uh, it's about 30, 35 years old. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have it restored this year, but I've been riding around every once in a while. And starting a bit, and you do a business. Uh, it's just a part-time thing. Part-time, yeah. and, and you just charge right whatever yeah. people. Okay, you tell me what happened when at you were you were working at the well, Bomber Game. I went game. to the North End Zone, and, you know, the banjo bowl was on this, this right. Sunday. Right, yeah. Anyhow, the uh, the security guard escorted a, a drunken girl from Saskatchewan out, and as they... She got out through the gate. They shoved her from the behind. Very hard? Uh, fairly hard, yeah. She almost fell to the ground. You know, she was obnoxious. She was drunk, but that wasn't necessary. Well, that's illegal. Well, I don't know if it's illegal, but... Well, it's assault. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's not necessary. And then I said, you know what? You don't have to shove her like that. She's already out the door. He says, mind your own business and leave the property. So I've been doing bomber games for three years. And, uh, and you can't come back? Oh, I can come back, yeah. I picked up a ride right away after that. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay, because so don't let that keep you because... But it's a lot of fun, but you meet a lot of different situations in this. Yeah. yeah. Are you enjoying, though, uh, the, the bombers in general? Not really. <laughs> yeah. are, you one of those pe are you one of those people that are swearing under your breath? Well, yeah. You know, Let's root for the Jets and forget about the bombers this year. But don't you think that, you know, because we have a team, it's good enough like there's a lot of places right that have teams and they stink well and they still and, and, they, and the team and we have good fan support and they have so that you believe that the fans will support them anyway oh, always we always do winnipeg's a great city to live in of course it is yes. and it's so nice to meet you and Likewise. and your rickshaw thanks Donna. that is so cool have a great day <laughs> thank you